Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Friday, September the 8th, the year 2023. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly wrap up. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. And yesterday, there was not a video. Uh, full disclosure, I overslept and I had places to be yesterday. Um, and so, I didn't get a chance to make a video. Looking at the weekly chart here, the dashboard is showing that all the open gaps have filled. We can see the pound is 91 pips below the weekly open, 146 off the high and 51 off the low. Um, today's been kind of interesting trading day. We are below the opening range for the week and for the month. And if we go back and look at the monthly chart, you can see we broke the previous month's low back at 125.50 or thereabouts. Let's see, actually, that low was uh, 125.47. So we've put in a new low for this month at 124.45. Once again, notice the breakout here. We have actually touched the um, and broke through, it looks like, the uh, midpoint for this year. So we have done a 50% retrace off the top for the FIB traders. And we are 405 pips above the yearly open, but 647 off the high and 692 off the low. So once again, we're right around the midpoint for the year. Notice that um, <laughs> this chart looks an awful lot like the um, opening range for the week and the month. Because you can see here, this was the opening range for the week, and it was an inside bar, and we broke below it. And for the week, we broke below that two days ago, Wednesday, inside bar. But still, that monthly inside bar sitting right here, the last one, which was seven months ago. And you can see from the dashboard, a lot of gray and blue indicating a lot of inside bar trading opportunities on daily, weekly, and monthly inside bars. The range today for the pound, only 48 pips, definitely anemic. We've got two, four, six, seven pairs exceeding 100 pips or more in daily range, with the uh, dollar yen being one of them. These uh, wicks today have been really crazy. Um, looking here at H1, you can see we uh, spiked up and then we pulled back down. In fact, um, I got caught. I, I took a short at 99. It ran against me. So I put on a couple of more shorts and then let it come back down. And I punched out pretty much uh, about break even plus one or so. Didn't want to take the chance. But had I held on, I'd be up at least uh, six pips or more on each one of the entries. But that's hindsight. Red Rats, you had your opportunity, but actually we're saying that the range is too low. Once again, only 48 pips. So usually don't like to take rat trades per se. You can still take trades up here or down here, but don't think of them as rat trades looking for the big retrace. Even though we are, at, we have retraced out of both of the rat zones. The uh, pivot trading plan, and this is one of the things that helped me out, or the bias near the pivot, and near 
R1 was short, so I held on, even though it had broken yesterday's high, and it came back for a nice little tiny profit. Bambino indicator said go short. But right now we're 20 pips above the daily open. And there was one thing I I don't know how I missed it, but there was this missed pivot sitting right here. And somehow I didn't see it at 2513. And you can see we had a high of 2513.6. So we took out that missed pivot. And why I did not plot for that, I when price was crossing a double O, I just I guess it wasn't on uh, my chart. I missed it. We have a missed pivot from yesterday. First missed pivot so far in September. Or at least that's the first one that hasn't been taken out. Yeah. First missed pivot in September. So in case you're wondering about this. This shows all the uh, pivots that have not been hit. This shows all the pivots that um, have been missed. So these are still, you can still target these pivots, but um, some of these um, have already been taken out. Or actually, no, they haven't. Let's see. 0815. Yeah, that one's been taken out, but it was a missed pivot. So this just shows you how many times pivots have been missed. And you can see we penetrated the upper wick zone twice and then fell back below. Once again, looking at the statistics, price does not like closing inside those wick zones. And bringing up the smart ranges, we are 197 pips range this week, which was better than last week. We're right at the 50 percentile. We're below the average on the ATR, which is 233. So once again, slightly anemic, even though we had lower highs and lower lows on the weekly. So we did not break out at a previous high, but we did break out at a previous low. By 117 pips. Note once again, I may have mentioned this before. We had this outside bar, and it seems like outside bar breaks are a lot more volatile than the inside bar breaks, even though we had an outside week, inside week, and then we broke both the inside and the outside. So, once again, simple horizontal line trades using highs and lows. Four, the rats, high minus close at the moment, 156. For the red rats, green rats, close minus low, 42 pips. And for the buy zone traders or the weekly crossover traders, high minus open, 54, open minus low, 143. And also, some traders have been asking me for templates. One thing you have to know, sometimes I'll put together charts, but I don't save them as templates. If it has a name up here, then usually I've saved it as a template. So if you ask for something that doesn't have a name, um, chances are I don't have it saved as a template. It may be saved, I might have it saved as a profile, but somebody asked me for a template back from uh, the year 2021, I don't think um, I have that template, and that and they, I don't think that chart was a template. But I just realized something that I don't have it on this computer, but I might have it on my backup computer. So if uh, I'll have to look for you. Okay, price action simple chart here. Normally, when I trade, I'm trading on the uh, 
M5 or M1, the pinpoint entries, but you can see here, this was kind, this should have been a real no-brainer, um, taking the uh, flip-flop of the indicator 2 from magenta to aqua, jumping in, maybe you took a little heat, but then it ran up, and then it just told you to stay in the trade, stay in the trade, and somewhere up here you can see that when it broke that, uh, came back into the uh, yesterday's high or yesterday's upper wick zone right here. Could have taken your money off the table. In fact, this was the signal you had flip flop of the candles, and then all of a sudden, when this sucker turned red, go ahead, take your pips off the table. Then it gave another flip flop trade here. Um, once again, aqua to magenta. On the open, a little heat right around the double O, came down. And then you can see here it tried again. So you could have actually popped out and then done a re entry if you wanted to. And the one thing I found out, you know, sometimes traders like to stack on when they get these signals. I wait. If I'm going to stack on and it's magenta, I wouldn't stack on at the open. I'd wait to see if price got within uh, less than a pip away from the indicator too, and then maybe I would take the chance stacking on, even though I'd be going against the candle color, but I'd be going with the dots. But you can figure out how to do it for yourself and what works best for you. Here, looking at um, lower highs, higher lows with the... Um, three ball um, lines drawn in where we had previous three balls. You can see we had a three ball 634 minutes ago right there. Because this is M1. Range so far in September 267. We're all we're close to what we did last month. We look at the year-to-date accumulated range. We still have not pushed out of that range as you saw in those charts before. So we're 1340 high to low range for the year. ATR percent. So we're at 46 for September. That's not bad. We've got plenty of plenty of trading days left. We might be able to get this up a lot higher. And just so you know what the ATR is, it's 584. Put this back for the next time. And let's see what's interesting here for the month. Price below the lower wick zone, and we're turning down. And what that means is we had a green candle followed by a red. Now price is now red, so price is, price is turning. That's what I call a turn trade. And just remember, there's no major move ever that doesn't have a turn trade. Doesn't matter what time frame. Has to have a turn trade. So if you're looking, if you're a quote unquote trend trader, that's just something to note. Here we go on the weekly. As you can see, we broke through one, two, uh, the two um, previous week lows there. So lower high, lower low. We're below the lower wick zone. Seller strong control at the moment. And for the daily, prices between the wick zones, we crossed above the previous mid and the pivot, got a higher high, higher low. So, fellow traders, I hope September's treating you well, you're trading well, and you're remembering to place your stop loss, and you're not losing more than you're willing to lose on any one particular trade. So, Everybody, have a fun and safe weekend, and always remember, never forget, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out and drain the banks. This is the Rumpled One, over and out.